This is a 7 News special report. This is Ralph Rayburn in Skyforce HD. We uh, reported a story a little bit earlier about a police uh, uh, chase that ended down south uh, in the Homestead area. Uh, there was a, a motorcycle that uh, was involved with an, uh, an incident with a police officer. They pursued that motorcycle. That motorcycle uh, driver joined up with another motorcycle driver. There was a crash on the entrance to the turnpike. In the meantime, the second driver, the driver the police officers wanted to stop, is uh, now leading the police on a chase that has come all the way north on the turnpike up here to uh, just past Sunset uh, Drive here. You can see the... Uh, uh, bicycle uh, driver there getting off the uh, roadway now. Joey's going to be turning, coming southbound towards us here on the, uh, the feeder road that's on the east side of uh, the turnpike here, and he's trying to elude police. We understand that there is an aviation unit that is uh, down below us there following this motorcycle as it uh, now leads the Miami-Dade Police Department on a chase that has now lasted probably about uh, eight or nine minutes, starting down around, I'm trying, trying to remember the addresses they were given out, like 299th Street and 157th Avenue is where the original incident occurred, but you can see the traveling at a high rate of speed here, trying to elude police officers going directly underneath us now, Joe. It's going to be going southbound. Uh, I'm going to put this address here at approximately 116th Avenue. Yeah, 116th Avenue and uh, just a little bit north of Sunset Drive. Uh, again, uh, a motorcycle uh, driver who's wanted by the police for uh, an involvement in some kind of an assault and or battery on a police officer uh, is being pursued now by the Miami-Dade Police Department, has turned and gone westbound now. This is westbound on, uh, let me see if I can get an address for you going westbound here, uh, right off of uh, 90, I'm getting at is 95th Avenue here, or 95th Street, passing another, uh, another person on a motorcycle going westbound. Let's see here. We're going to bring the camera back out and see if we have any officers uh, in pursuit right in this area. But uh, this is all taking place, as we said, about the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, this uh, motorcycle driver was involved in some kind of altercation with a police officer down in uh, South Dade. Uh, fled, uh, fled from the police officers. They uh, put a number of uh, uh, units in the area down there around 299th Street to 312th Street along 157th Avenue to 137th Avenue. They were able to spot this uh, motorcycle and the driver and another motorcycle and driver joined this, this uh, uh, person on the bike here. Uh, police officers uh, using lights and sirens tried to get these guys to stop. One of them crashed his vehicle at the entrance to the tur turnpike. And as you can see now, he's uh, trying to evade police here. Uh, now coming uh, northbound here on the west side of the turnpike. Uh, we'll get you an address here just momentarily. Uh, along, I see it's uh, 81st Street and about uh, 97th Avenue or so. Again, uh, this all happening. As we said, I uh, know we're getting a little redundant here about uh, uh, 10 minutes ago, but police are saturating the area, trying to get the driver of this uh, motorcycle to stop. All right, we're going to just stay with it, I guess. We're uh, uh, watching now as the driver, uh, not, not quite the high rate of speed that he was. At, at, at one point, they estimated he was doing maybe between 90 and 95 on the turnpike when he was coming northbound. Now he's on, uh, on the uh, regular streets here, not on a highway, uh, but he still is, uh, keeps uh, glancing over his shoulder, looking back uh, to try to see where the police are. I'm going to bring the camera back out here a little bit and see if we could see any officers uh, in his uh, direct area around him. And right now, we're not seeing any as we uh, continue to follow this uh, what was a police pursuit here coming up on uh, an intersection here. We'll get an intersection for you momentarily. Met okay, I'm being told now by our pilot Joe Mancino that the uh, Metro helicopter, I can see him out my left window now. He's down at about 300 feet. There's a police car right behind him. There you go. There's a police officer following the vehicle. Uh, now we're going back eastbound here. And uh, now you can see the, uh, the speed with which the uh, motorcycle uh, can, uh, can achieve there as we bring the camera way, way back out here. But he's uh, zipping uh, between traffic now, uh, between lanes of traffic, as a matter of fact, here, uh, trying to elude these uh, Miami-Dade police officers as they continue to follow him. Uh, let me just see what we've got right here coming up here. We've got an intersection with a stoplight. He's going to go right between the two vehicles. Yeah, he's coming up by Kendall Regional Hospital. That'll give you an idea of where we are. That'd be about 41st Street, but on the west side of the hospital. So that puts it uh, 
anywhere between, uh, let's see, about uh, 117th, around 117th Avenue or so. So the northbound in that area here, in between the vehicles, but he is being followed by the helicopter right now. So the helicopter is giving instructions. You can see police officer coming on the opposite lanes of traffic now. Uh, they're using what appears to be a single vehicle to follow this uh, motorcycle as it goes right underneath this Joe. Hang on here, let's see where he ends up here. Going southbound at a high rate of speed now, uh, trying to elude the police. Uh, and we want to take a second here as we cover this uh, live event here uh, that uh, re and remind our viewers at home that this is live television and uh, uh, we don't know what's going to happen here. We don't know the situation as it's going to unfold. That is uh, raw and unedited and we always uh, give that cautionary warning to our viewers. And if you're just now joining us, you're taking a look right now. We've got seven Sky Force over the okay. scene of a live police chase in Homestead. As you can see, this chase has been going on for about 10 or 15 minutes here. And we're told that it's a motorcyclist. There was actually two motorcyclists involved. Homestead police were conducting some type of operation when this happened. There's some type of assault on a police officer. The first motorcyclist actually crashed. They do have him. The second one has been going throughout here. We're told right now it's near Kendall Regional Hospital there. And uh, he has been going at a, a good rate of speed. This has been going on for about 10 or 15 minutes. Again, this uh, motorcyclist, there was two of them, were wounded on some type of assault on a police officer. As you can see, it's a single car chase. Police officers chasing this motorcyclist again this is happening in homestead live and again it's been going on for about 15 to 20 minutes now we do have seven sky Ashley. force there over the scene yes ralph i'll bring you up to speed here a little bit we are not in homestead anymore we have moved on and we are now in the area of uh kendall regional hospital 41st street and about 117th avenue he's uh, just outside the property there of the hospital now coming around a parking lot he has managed to uh, elude the miami-dade police department here so far at least on the ground you see him now turning uh, dangerously cutting across traffic and turning uh to the uh west and going westbound now here on 41st street uh, so he's going to be west of the turnpike here, going in between the uh, rows of traffic here through an intersection here, oncoming traffic now making a uh, right-hand turn and going westbound around 122nd Avenue, we believe here. Uh, as, uh, now I'm being told, actually, to, is it eastbound or northbound? Northbound now, and, and it is northbound here. Uh, as we said earlier, we were uh, on another story down in Homestead, a police operation down south, when we heard a police officer say that he had just been, his vehicle had just been struck and or uh, hit by uh, a motorcycle, and the uh, driver of that motorcycle then refused to stop. He asked for assistance, and uh, in the course of about 10 minutes, they had a number of police officers saturate the area down around 320 or 312th Street and 157th Avenue to 137th Avenue. They spotted this motorcycle driver and his vehicle and his um, uh, motorcycle, and also spotted. Um, another uh, motorcycle and driver uh, they appeared to be riding in tandem at that point and they were efforting to get onto the turnpike and at the entrance to the turnpike around i want to say that it was off of 157th avenue the uh, the second driver fell off of his motorcycle crashed his motorcycle now you can see how fast uh, they were going to be going here look at this this has got to be in excess of 100 miles an hour right here as he's uh, uh, zipping along here but the, in the meantime they were able to get an aviation unit out of tamiami airport Actually, it's Executive Airport now, I stand corrected. And he he launched and when he got up in the air very, very quickly and with the directions from the uh, ground units was able to spot it. And he's down below now with a full tank of fuel and he's just gonna follow the motorcycle uh, driver until uh, 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 they're able to either, run, this guy runs out of gas, has an accident and or police bring him in to uh, uh, get him to stop. Uh, obviously, uh, a very dangerous situation here on the streets here. Uh, putting other people's uh, uh, p the, uh, pedestrians and uh, civilians who are just driving around minding their own business at risk. Uh, that's the that's, uh, only commentary we'll make from here. But we are watching this uh, live here on uh, WSVN as this uh, motorcycle pursuit continues through the streets of Miami. And again, if you're just now joining us, we do have Seven Sky Force over the scene of a live police chase going on right now in Southwest Miami Day. Take a look at this motorcyclist going in excessive speeds of up to 100 miles per hour, weaving through traffic, putting all kinds of drivers and pedestrians at risk. 
Now again, this chase has been going on for about 15 to 20 minutes now. It actually started, as we heard Ralph tell us, in Homestead with police conducting some type of operation. This guy gave chase. Uh, there was some type of a, a motorcyclist hitting a police car. Two motorcyclists were involved as they were heading towards the turnpike. Ralph was telling us that okay. one of those po those motorcyclists crashed at the uh, turnpike. This one, though, however, still giving chase as police are trying to catch up to him. Ashley, right now we're coming up uh, just to give you an, uh, an address update. Now we are uh, the motorcycle driver is coming up on the Tamiami Trail going northbound on uh, one of the avenues here. I want to put this avenue probably about 137th Avenue maybe a little bit farther west here, but he's going northbound, as you said, uh, uh, at a, uh, continues to go at a high rate of speed, looking over his shoulder, glancing over his shoulder every couple of minutes, looking back at the police officers. The uh, police helicopter is still down below us following, uh, giving direction to the ground units uh, on how to intercept. Uh, they're try imagine trying to come up with a plan on how to get this guy to stop. Uh, let's see here, he's uh, going around traffic here now. He's going to be going into an apartment complex, a shopping center. He's uh, ducked into a shopping center here. Uh, let's see where he ends up going here. Uh, back behind the shopping center uh, in an alley behind the uh, homes, single family homes. And uh, he might, might, might be thinking about getting ready to bail out and go, go on foot. Not 100% sure about that, but he is pulling into uh, an area where there's a, you see a backyard and a fence there and a swimming pool. Let's see if we can see where he is. It looks like he's off the motorcycle now. Yep, he's off the motorcycle. Uh, Right there, he's taking his helmet off. You can see he's wearing a gray shirt, khaki pants, khaki shorts. Uh, police officers uh, from Miami-Dade are saturating the area. He's trying to, appears to be trying to stash or lock up the, uh, the bike, continually looking over his shoulder. Let me study the camera here a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, so we, uh, the chase portion of uh, involved in there, he's going to go. He's going to uh, go over the fence there. He's over a fence and into the backyard of a house here. A police helicopter there zooming through the uh, 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 through the shot there. So we're just going to hang on these two buildings right here. It looks like he's gone over another building. We see a, a dog or a cat. He's now uh, climbed a fence, and he's. Uh, this is going to become a foot pursuit here as he goes over a fence in a, a little neighborhood community here, uh, just off of the trail. He's uh, going through the neighborhoods now. You can see on foot. Uh, bring the camera back out here and see if we can keep up with him. He just walked over and. He's in the backyard of that house right there. I believe he's uh, hiding. Yeah, the police, uh, you can see the police helicopter there. I think he knows that he's uh, hes in a bad way because uh, police are not going to lose him from up above now. He's got his hands raised, or does he have his hand raised? No, he's just walking out to the middle of the street. I think he's thinking the better of it. He's laying down. Let's bring the camera back out and see if we have a police officer. He's complying with orders from somebody or he's putting himself uh, on the ground there to, uh, to let the officers know that he's not a threat to anybody. There's the uh, police officer responding out here, telling the guy to stay on the ground. He's gonna pull out his handcuffs here. He's gonna probably check him too to make sure that he's not carrying any weapons or anything like that. And he's gonna, now he's on his radio telling him that the subject is in custody, giving the address to other officers so they can arrive here on the scene. So from uh, start to finish, probably uh, maybe less than 20 minutes or so from a chase that started down in Homestead and came all the way up the turnpike here at a very high rate of speed and then through the streets. Uh, disregard for the uh, traffic signals, the traffic indicators and lights and things like that. And police officers with lights and sirens trying to get him to stop. He finally bails out of the off the motorcycle and is now in police custody. That's uh, our story here in Skyforce HD. I'm Ralph Ray reporting live. All right, if you're just now joining us, that man has now surrendered to the police. What has been about a 20-minute live chase we've been bringing you here from 7 Sky Force, which began in Homestead. It is now finished up here in southwest Miami-Dade. The man finally parking that motorcycle, trying to flee on foot. He ran through some backyards, and he jumped over some fences. Then he finally decided to just lay down in the road and surrender, putting his hands behind his back. As nice you can job, see, job. the police are now taking him into custody. But again, this was something that happened in Homestead involving two motorcyclists. One did crash. The other one kept going, giving a very dangerous chase there through the streets, going at excessive miles per hour, about 100 miles an hour at some point, uh, putting pedestrians and drivers there at risk. 
but again, he finally did park that motorcycle and he locked it up as we saw and he started jumping over fences and running through yards here in residential areas. But as you can see, he finally laid down in the road. He put his hands behind his back and the police were able to take him into custody. Fortunately, nobody was hurt in this. That is some good news in all of this. But again, a very dangerous live chase that we have been showing you throughout the streets, starting in Homestead, going through residential areas at very high speeds. And again, the police were chasing him on the ground, but also they had their police chopper in the sky to give directions to the police uh, there on the ground so they could locate him. And now, as you see, they have him in custody and uh, the bike has been put in a lock. Again, he, and he is now in that police car. Ralph? Yeah, the, the, I have to say that the, the police officers at this scene have, appeared to be a little more affable uh, in the takedown here. Uh, obviously, the uh, adrenaline is flowing uh, when your uh, police officers and uh, law enforcement folks get involved with something like this. And, uh, and, the, and the takedown there uh, seemed pretty pedestrian. Uh, uh, we did notice that on the other uh, scene uh, where the crash occurred, the crash that occurred at the entrance to the turnpike down south involving the other motorcycle driver, the, uh, the uh, police officers appeared to be a little bit more animated. Um, uh, I, that's just an observation on our part to, uh, to what was going on. Uh, so again, we had two uh, motorcyclists involved in, uh, in what was a pursuit and or a chase involving uh, the Miami-Dade Police Department. It started down south in South Dade. Uh, it came northbound all the way up here and ended. I want to look at the GPS here and tell you we're at a, uh, 100 or a 14th Street. 14th Street and 139th place is the address where these police officers are now. We got when, we're, when we when we when we do these kind of reports up here, uh, we're watching a monitor about 90% of the time. And when you look outside, it's kind of sometimes you're surprised at exactly where you've ended up. But uh, this is uh, an, uh, an event that uh, took place here. Uh, the subject that they wanted to stop has finally uh, uh, stopped and is in custody in police custody right now. And as we get more information, obviously we'll get it back to you. I'm going to toss it back to you. Yeah, and again, we're showing you live pictures of that police uh, chase. It's been going on for about 20 minutes. As you can see, they do have that motorcyclist in custody, but for 20 minutes, so a very dangerous chase, which again began in South Dade, ending up there, as you just heard Ralph say, at 14th Street and 139th Place. Again, that man going at very excessive speeds going weaving in and out of traffic putting drivers and pedestrians in residential areas and a lot of danger there fortunately the good news is nobody was hurt in this that man did park his motorcycle he took off his helmet as we all saw locked up his motorcycle and then jumped the fence started running through some backyards jumping over other fences he tried to hide it looked like behind a tree at one point he finally realized he was cornered. He came out into the street. He laid down, face down, put his hands behind his back to let police officers know he was not a threat. And they were able to very safely take him into custody and put him into their car there, showing you back again the live pictures of the police. They're taking that man into custody. The other man who was on the other motorcycle, he crashed earlier. We showed you the scene there. Again, these, there is that man as well. He is also being arrested. Both of these men, uh, the Homestead Police, were conducting some type of operation. We are told these men were wanted on some type of an assault on a okay. police officer. They police ran officers not only on the ground, but an aviation unit, a police chopper that was following, uh, would not uh, just doggedly following this guy. He finally just gave up, lay down on the ground, and police officers who were in the area spotted him. Uh, took him into custody without uh, any kind of fanfare there. They are now uh, processing the scene, and they're obviously going to have to, because it's uh, it's not multi-jurisdictional, but it is, uh, there are a bunch of different uh, districts that are involved in this because uh, they put the dispatch out on a bunch of frequencies here so that everybody in the area could hear as, the, as this chase moved northbound. Uh, they actually had at one point called in the Kendall units, and they were about, I think, about ready to call the Doral units to let them know that they had a chase coming northbound on the turnpike, and of course they let the Florida Highway Patrol know that that's also also taking place, but it was ha happening at such a high rate of speed. The only uh, vehicles that could really keep up, or only uh, assets that could keep up, were the police helicopter 
and uh, and Skyforce HD, and we did, and, and you saw the uh, chase unfold here live uh, from start to finish. You saw the takedown here live, and as Ashley said, uh, the good news here, as far as we know, there were no civilians injured. Uh, police officers are all fine. I think the other driver of the uh, second motorcycle that crashed down at the entrance of Turnpike might have a little bit of a road rash, but that's pretty much uh, the wrap on the story from our end here. That's our story here in Skyforce HD. I'm going to throw it back to you guys. All right, and again, if you're just now joining us, that is the end there of the motorcyclist police chase that we have been bringing you the last 20 minutes. This has been going on. Again, it involved two motorcyclists, one crashed near the turnpike. The second one parked the motorcycle. He fled on foot. He eventually decided to surrender, laying down there, right there in the street at 14th Street and 139th Place. As you can see, he put his hands behind his back, and they were able to take him into custody. We'll bring you more today at noon. This has been a 7 News special report. We now rejoin regularly scheduled programming.